This is a very interesting slide. I'd like to explain it. It is the, um, uh, the amount of flights uh, undertaken, or the airline emissions on the left-hand side. It's the airline emissions created by each of the major airline groups across Europe. Lufthansa, British Airways, Air France, Ryanair, KLM, etc. The blue element of the bar is the amount of those emissions that actually where the passengers pay a carbon price or carbon tax. And you will see that Ryanair, and to a lesser extent EasyJet UK in the UK, stand out by having over 80, 90 percent of our passengers pay an environmental or the carbon price, a carbon price associated or environmental taxes on their flights. The reason the other airlines don't is because of the extraordinary uh, environmental tax exemptions that are being approved by Brussels, largely at the behest of lobbying from uh, the, the, the major legacy airlines. The most polluting uh, flights to and from Europe are long-haul flights. Long-haul flights to Europe account for 54% of Europe's CO2, aviation CO2 emissions, 54%, but deliver 6% to the passengers, and they're exempt from any environmental taxation whatsoever. So the richest people, the Americans, the Russians, the Chinese, flying long-haul flights to and from Europe, make no contribution whatsoever. And the uh, legacy airlines have very cleverly lobbied Brussels to also give them an exemption for transfer traffic. So the Dutch, for example, Commissioner Tillerman, who's a great advocate for further environmental taxes on everything, uh, and the Dutch are, you know, have lots of other alternatives if they want to move to and from Holland, um, advocates that everybody should pay, aviation should pay their environmental taxes. Yet his government have designed an environmental tax system in Holland, which is penal, but it exempts all the transfer traffic at Schiphol, which currently accounts for 84% of KLM's traffic. So only 16% of KLM's traffic is point-to-point -point traffic at Schiphol. That's all that pays the environmental taxes. Yet they damage competition by saying Ryanair and EasyJet and others who just fly point-to-point, -point, you pay all the taxes.